Good morning and welcome to your e-learning for today. Um, today is Groundhog Day and uh, Puxatawney Phil, which is the name of the groundhog that we all listen to who lives in Pennsylvania. They pulled him out this morning and he got scared when he saw a shadow and went back into his hole for six more weeks. So we will have six more weeks of winter according to the groundhog. What I'd like for you guys to do today is to focus a little bit more on cellular respiration. Yesterday, it was kind of off about uh, photosynthesis. So um, there is an assignment for you to do. If you click up here on the assignment, oh, sorry, that's not the right click. Click here. Yes, uh, read the article and complete the questions at the end. So we pull it up and I'm going to open it for you. All righty. Um, so it's in Word, so it'll be a little bit easier to write on. Um, then it talks about how um, we need food and how we get food from the process of cellular respiration. So we um, take a peek at this article. There's a picture of ATP, which is the energy molecule, as you know, because we've talked about that before. And then we go down here. There's a summary, and then there are seven questions. So that's not a whole lot. So I think you should be able to get the seven questions done. There is a link to a video. Wait a minute. Control click. There we go. Whoops. I think this is safe for you to watch. So you can click OK there if you get that warning. And here's the video. Um, it is uh, um, kind of a lecture, someone is sort of explaining cellular respiration um, as you go along, but it will help you if you need, if you need help and you can't find all of the answers in the um, article, then watch that little video and see if it will help. Okay. Thanks and have a good e-learning day. Be sure to email me if you have any questions and I will do the best I can to help. Thanks. Have a great day.